Got a large box from Automation Technologies Incorporated. Let's see what we got in the box. So we'll remove some, some of the peanuts and then we'll take a look and see what we've got. One thing I noticed about these peanuts is they're anti-static. They're not uh, like the normal ones that stick to you. But there sure is a lot of them. Just to make it, things easier, I'm going to take all the things out of this box and we're going to open them up individually. Okay, I've got the box opened and um, all the contents out. Um, I actually had two boxes. The um, pink um, package on the top uh, came in a separate box uh, from Florida and all the rest of it came from uh, uh, Illinois so so this is a CNC package for uh, uh, converting the Grizzly G0704 milling machine to uh, CNC so why don't we start off right here This is the C32 breakout board from uh, CNC for PC. Uh, what's unique about it is it has RJ45 ports for all your connections. So instead of plugging everything into wiring blocks like normal, uh, you'll just plug them in uh, using regular LAN cables. Uh, just like uh, this one. The C32 board has a lot of special features on it uh, that we won't go into right now because I'm going to do uh, a video just about that board. So we'll save that for later. But uh, it will support two, uh, uh, two parallel ports with this board. Uh, let's go over some of the things that are easy to get through right now. Um, I just showed you the... Uh, LAN uh, cable. And this is for the uh, Ethernet smooth stepper that uh, is somewhere in one of these packages. We also have a uh, uh, extension for um, the parallel port, female. Let's start with one of these boxes. Okay, what we have here is a uh, KL8056D. It's a digital uh, stepper uh, driver. Okay, and should have two of those. And this is the, um, we'll get a better picture of it. This is a uh, KL. 8070D uh, and this this is the uh, higher powered of the two stepper drivers this one's for driving this one is for driving larger NEMA stepper motors that's the other 8056D Now in this large box, we have a uh, KL648, which is a 48-volt, uh, uh, 12-amp power supply. It's actually 12 and a half, but uh, this uh, power supply will...
provide the juice for all of the uh, uh, electronics. You can see the uh, connectors on the front of it, the screw terminals. This is a removable right here. And you get in there, get access and connect your wires here. On the back side uh, is a fan and connections for your uh, line in power. And you can select between um, 120 and uh, 240 by flipping that switch. And just, you just have to make sure that you've got it in the right position for your line voltage. Not really sure what's in this big styrofoam bundle here. Let's open it up and see. It hinges in the middle down here. Whoa. That is a big stepper motor. This is the uh, NEMA 34 um, stepper motor. It's got 900 inch ounces of torque. <laughs> and it is not a toy. <laughs> Just as a size comparison, I'm going to open up one of these other uh, 500 inch ounce uh, NEMA stepper motors, NEMA 23s. I love bubble wrap, don't you? One of the greatest inventions in mankind. So much fun. It's a little hard to keep the camera just where you want it when you're uh, doing this by yourself. Especially when you got to get this all done before the wife gets home to see what you're doing on your kitchen table. Shh. Now you can see the, the size difference between these. NEMA 23 and then NEMA 34. These are uh, quite impressive. This has a 3 8 inch shaft and this has a half inch shaft. Um, and you would use you'd, you'd use the 8070 with the big motor and you'd plug the 8056. Uh, with a smaller motor. This one can handle a bigger load than this one can. So you have to make sure to get those straight. Okay, the pile's getting a lot smaller now. Let's see what else we got in the uh, package here. Okay, this is an Ethernet smooth stepper. This is a motion control card and you uh, plug your LAN cable into uh, one side and you use uh, cables to connect it to uh, your driver boards or your breakout board or in the case of the uh, C32 board this will plug directly into it. I placed the order for all of these uh, supplies on Tuesday uh, morning, and today is Thursday, and uh, they arrived from the Midwest. This is the 5-volt uh, uh, 
uh, power supply that's going to drive the Ethernet smooth. These are connector pairs to uh, wire the stepper motors. It's a four pin uh, connector and you know you put uh, the wires on one side uh, for one part and remaining part on the other. What's uh, good about these particular connectors when they go together you can also screw this tight and now you can't accidentally pull your wires out. So I'm only wiring up three axes right now but I got four of these connectors because at some point in the future I'll probably go to a fourth axis. And uh, it's, it's nice to have all the same components when I do. So I'll uh, probably wire the control box up for that fourth axis right from the beginning. And I'll put in everything except the driver. Okay. These are little adapters. Uh, zoom in so you can see these. This adapter allows you to take the RJ45 um, LAN cable and you just you plug that in there and on the other end are these pins and if you grab one of these controllers you're able to take these pins match them up and they will slip in where the screw terminals normally would Now these two, I believe, these two I believe are analog, and they'll be used for uh, other components. Uh, they won't necessarily be directly connected to these drivers. And I've also got, well, there's three of those. another package with the digital ones and there are four of these you can see they, they look a little bit different Something like that. I'll know for sure shortly exactly how they go. It'll be like that. You plug your cable right in there. I didn't get a good look at these drivers before. You know, they're an aluminum um, or metal case on the outside, uh, aluminum mounting bracket the side with uh, slots for uh, screw heads and then I didn't notice this the first time around there's a built-in heat sink on that to keep these puppies cool that's pretty um, nice I hadn't uh, wasn't aware that that was a, a part of this um, setup but you can see it's got an RS-232 port on the side um, it's got lights to indicate whether there's power or, or there's something wrong, red and green. Um, there's dip switches on the front of it so that you can um, set different configurations based off the charts that are on the front, uh, silk screen right onto the front of these. So uh, everything's pretty clearly wired. You know, you, can, you know that's ground, uh, it's DC, and then these are the different phases. Uh, for the motors 
and uh, your stepping directions up here. So, um, pretty cool. Okay, just so we're clear um, on what is what, I may have fumbled in earlier, but I'll, I'll just point it out. This is a NEMA 23 motor with a 3 8 inch shaft. This is a NEMA 34 inch motor and it has a half inch shaft and uh, the NEMA 34 takes a heavier duty uh, stepper driver. This is the KL8070D for this. It's the digital uh, version of this and uh, it'll handle more amps and uh, Then the uh, KL8056D D will. And you use the 56D with the NEMA 23 motors. Here you have the major components laid out um, for the uh, controller box for my uh, CNC mill. And we've got the breakout board. The motion control board, power supply, the smaller power supply, wall work. Uh, got the stepper motors, two NEMA 23 motors and one NEMA 34. You've got three digital stepper controller drives uh, which uh, match the motor that they're assigned to. The 8070D for heavy duty, NEMA 34, and the 8056D for the NEMA 23s. One of the unique features with this um, controller um, breakout board, the uh, C32, is that it's designed to uh, work with the smooth stepper motion controllers and a smooth stepper has these uh, pin connect headers that uh, each connect to a different um, parallel port and so on the bottom of this C32 there's a male version of this connector Okay. And so, rather than use cables to connect your Ethernet smooth stepper to the C32, you can actually just take and make these connectors together like this. And it does all the connection for you. One unit saves a bunch of wiring inside the box. And the breakout board has full access to every uh, function of the Ethernet smooth stepper from those two uh, headers.